Hi guys and welcome to Gondiland here in Bamako. Today I will attempt to introduce you to different types of Kamalangoni so you can find out which is the best goni for you and your needs. First, the classical 12 strings balafon wood neck. This model is the beginner's Rolls Royce. Easy to tune, a clear and deep sound with a lot of harmonics and a work of drying and lightening the neck, which allows us to reach 2.5 up to 3 kg. Although it is possible to play traditional wasolon music on it, the design is more balangoni oriented, which means the style influenced by the balafon West African xylophone. It is possible to play the various traditional sounds, but the wood being harder than the bamboo, it is necessary to press more and the muffled and slap sound will have less dynamic than an instrument with a bamboo neck. Here is an example of the sound of the instrument. The next goni, which is my favorite instrument, is the 12 strings model bamboo neck. It is the modern and versatile version of the traditional Wasolu instrument. I also make models between 6 and 8 strings. Ideal if you want only to play traditional, as there are fewer strings vibrating together, making more comfortable playing and cleaner sounding on recording. That said, the 12 strings has a very wide spectrum that offers a great diversity of hues in different contexts, while allowing the Wastel repertory to be played. The bamboo neck has the advantage of being lighter than the wood. The goni weight between 2 and 2.5 kg and therefore offers more attack in the different sounds, which is exactly what the goni for our research. Around warm and sweet sound while having a lot of dynamics. Be careful, however, not just any bamboo can support the 75 kg of tension of this instrument. It is a climatic hazard that causes some bamboo growing in extreme conditions to reach such a degree of density that it becomes completely full and able to withstand the tension of the strings. It is with this material that I work, making a very strict selection in Mali and Guinea. So it is pretty rare to find Western manufacturers using this material. Here is a sample of the sound. Now, my everyday body, a personal creation that I decided to offer to all nomads and travel enthusiasts, the Traveler Goni. The concept germinated during a trek in the Himalayas, where, for nearly two weeks, 
I dreamed of my guni that I had left in Pokhara. Too heavy and unsuitable bag. So I created a bag suitable to travel and three years ago, a model based on my kids' guni but with 12 strings. In my new series, I have also impregnated the neck and the inside of the gourd with tonkinoa varnish for boats to protect the instrument from humid and tropical climates. I use very solid half gourds to reduce the volume, the weight, and the size of the neck is also shorter. The result is a 12 swings gunny that weighs only 1.5 kg and still sounds wonderful, both acoustically and amplified. For the top quality, I use rosewood bridges, which, combined with the bamboo necks, not only allow for balanced sound, but also more bass than my usual wooden balafon bridges. Before moving on to the next model, I would like to make a small parenthesis about right-handed and left-handed players. When ordering a goni, it is good to know if you prefer to play the bass on the right or left side. Traditionally, a right-handed player would play on the right. The reason is that it is a rhythmic instrument. In original rhythms, like the sirabakele, just like on drum set, the right hand keeps the bass line as on the hi-hat. For example, while the left hand handles downbeat and variations as on the snare. right-handed, but I play on the left. The reason is that my first goni came from a workshop in Burkina Faso. Burkina Bay players are often seen playing on the left, as the goni did not originate there, but has become a very popular instrument there. Their style is therefore mainly based on the pentatonic balafon, where the bass is located on the left as on the piano. We then find a much more tonal approach, which makes this style easier and more popular for study among Westerners, since our contemporary music is essentially based on chord sequences. However, we find ourselves very limited because a pentatonic instrument has only a few possible chords. The modal approach of the goni in Mali being much more rhythmic we find there an enormous diversity of very varied pieces, which make the Kamelangoni one of the most popular instruments of contemporary Malian music. The next model is the A strings bass goni. My master, Isa Sidibe, often plays accompanied by Isa Diallo on the bass goni. The combination of the two is just perfect. It's like a rock formation, but the village version. <laughs> In this case, the bass player holds the bass as well as the vocals in the case of Isa Diallo, and the high goni does the solo. I love this setup and even made a travel model to move around. The sound is burning, the rawness in all its splendor, 
but nevertheless very dynamic. A microphone can hardly make the feeling that we have when we play on it. The traditional model is six strings, and if you only play the wassolo, it's ideal. In my case, I also play the kora, as well as bobo, bambara, and monigo pieces on the goni. So I created a model that gives me two more bass strings, which allow me to play the wassolo on the first six strings, but also the rest of my repertoire thanks to the two additional bass strings. This is made possible with fluorocarbon strings, higher density than nylon, as well as rosewood bridge to accentuate the low frequencies while preserving the clarity of the sound. Let's check it out. Finally, the youngest of this series, the Kids Goni. It all started with four years old Maisha being asked by Papa Harvey what she wanted for her birthday. When she answered a Goni like daddy, my great friend contacted me in order to realize a dream. In my last series, I used the traditional mounting system as well as light bamboo from my stock in Bamako. The result is absolutely amazing. The goni weighs no more than a kilo and the sound is very warm, light and with a very good sound level considering the size of the neck. A model designed for children but which I find completely addictive. I also had to make one for my partner who is an absolute fan. I hope this information will help you find the right instrument for you. I spent several months here in Bamako on my last series, so I'm happy to share that with you guys. Do not hesitate to contact me for further information about the instruments or the Kamelangoni video lessons.